Hey, welcome. Um, I thought I'd do like a midweek update maybe or maybe a love reading or something. I don't really have an agenda. I just kind of felt like doing something. So um, we'll see. Um, I'll just pull a few cards and see where it takes us. Uh, it's for the highest and greatest good of all. Always use your own logic, uh, judgment, <laughs> intuition when making decisions. I'm actually kind of tired, so we'll see. Uh, either, like, I'm better at this or not, <laughs> depending. So, um, let's see. And always stay open to timing as it might be different for everyone and what's past, passing, coming to be. Judgment. Oh, it's really bright. Can you see? Hmm. That's the judgment card. Um... It can be like an epiphany, um, <clears throat> something coming through that just kind of awakens your view, um, makes you see things in a different way, different light. Um, one of those aha moments uh, it could be like hearing a wake-up call, an alarm, um, or just being a little bit judgmental, I guess. Um, maybe you feel that way. It's number 22, so maybe it's like in a partnership. But it could just be like a, you know, coming back to life kind of thing. Um, hallelujah, sort of like, wake up. You need to wake up. <laughs> See things in a different way. Um, let's see, what else is to be known? Does universe, spirit, source, night of... Ones. Um, this is a fire sign person or just the energy, but usually I assign Sagittarius to this card. Um, or it could be another fire sign like Leo or Aries or just someone with a lot of energy, I want to say, like a lot of stamina, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, yeah, just energy, gung-ho, excited, excitable. Um, a little bit impulsive maybe to just get something in their head and like wants to run with it <laughs> doesn't want to wait doesn't want to hesitate to like you know put things into action put things into motion so um you know just uh maybe it's a Sagittarius that is having some sort of wake up call or aha moment um this is maybe where you're you know it could be like I can talk about travel too. Maybe you're traveling um, long distances, especially something having to do with like the ninth house, long distance travel, your beliefs, um, anything like that. Fire energy. Um, it could be like where you're coming from, where you're going, but like fast, rapid development too. Uh, a lot of fast energy, a lot of uh, you're rushing into things. Um, see uh, what area of life is this affecting people Queen of Pentacles I don't know I didn't really feel like that was what was supposed to come out so I'll just Queen of Discs Queen of Earth uh, maybe uh, Taurus uh, usually assigned to the Queen of Pentacles Taurus so in your earthly reality um, this can mean just like I was listening to Rick Ross Sanctified one time, and this card popped out when it said my aura gold. So I realized that all the kings and queens and the ducks are like your environment, um, your aura, what's around you, what you kind of give off. Um, it's very steady, stable. It's kind of the opposite of the queen of, or the page. Queen, page, knight. <laughs> Maybe those are important to message about something. Um, about what you, uh, your earthly reality, about, you know, your environment, about where you come from, about who you, what you, what you own, or just, uh, just value, you know, value, your value, um, what you value, um, looking over something, taking care of something, um, being appreciative of something that you have, Maybe being appreciative of your fiery nature. <laughs> I don't, you know, it could just be fiery nature, you know. 
Taurus too, I think of um, just uh, another earth energy, like I wanted to show you this on the bottom. For those that don't know the traditional tarot, some symbolism and pictures, um, imagery. This is the Eight of Pentacles. I have Elton John's uh, Your Song there, just because it's kind of in the same position. It can also mean journalism and writing things down, taking notes, um, paying attention to details, like hammering things out, working things out. Um, it can mean an apprentice or just someone who's learning, like on the job, like, uh, you know, having just maybe someone like thrown into a situation just kind of having to learn as they go um things piling up uh postings sometimes i think this is instagram like all your posts <laughs> um it's like not overlooking something that's maybe dropped or something but or apes another earth sign usually this is talks about virgo um or just any earthly energy just you know taking your time paying attention to details reading between the lines sometimes, um, just uh, working on your craft. Uh, sometimes I think of like masonry, you know, gold, hammering, welding, that kind of thing. I actually just realized, I haven't realized this until now, but where I have my studio, uh, it's uh, in a room in uh, one of the oldest houses in this neighborhood, um, huge like mansion house. Uh, and. Um, so because it's one of the oldest places, it has uh, one of those signs in the front yard that I hadn't noticed until yesterday, and it says Black Welder, something Black Welder. I just thought that was so funny because I've mentioned welding and masonry and all these things like in the past, but it's come up a bunch. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that means something to someone. Or just eight. Twenty-eight. It's the twenty here, the judgment. Uh, and that reduces down to one, so that's, you know, you. It's uh, your I am energy. Um, this is the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I just feel like I'm, like, giving people a lesson now. Wheel of Fortune, if you haven't seen that before, so it kind of relates a lot to the um, Smashing Pumpkins tonight, tonight. Again, with that, all the playlists, like, if you ask a question, like, say, timing wise like when is something going to happen and you would have pressed shuffle and that song um or that music video were were to come up i'd say your answer is tonight you know um so just see what like stands out to you what strikes a chord um what do you pay attention to usually i feel like messages and things like that come through for me um through associations memories things like that but also um just what calls my attention it took me a long time to realize that, like, uh, not everyone was, like, copying me because it was, like, what was calling my attention, and then it would show up in other people's, like, you know, lives, posts, what they say, and it was just it's bizarre. So, uh, yeah, for a long time I felt like, you know, my thoughts weren't my own, you know, um, and uh, just trying to figure out what was, you know, coming from other people, what was important, but I really, you know, we're all just connected, and uh, somehow wavelengths, I don't know how it works, but... Um, somehow we just sort of, I don't know, um, some people are more perceptive, I think, and more sensitive to those things. So, and things, especially if you're visual, like you pay attention to what you, what calls your attention more so. Those thoughts that pop into your head, don't just dismiss them right away. It's so easy to, especially if you have like a lot of thought, a lot of thinking going on, lots of thoughts popping in your head all the time. It's like easy to just dismiss them as like just something coming from your subconscious, something that you've seen, like just you know, whatever, random thought that popped into your head, but a lot of times those, that is what, uh, that should be paid attention to, or you should explore more, you know, um, so maybe just taking notice of things more so, um, what calls your attention, what is standing out to you, you know, here, you know, like what stands out to you, this is 10, again, it reduces down to 1, so, um, and this is taking a jump, jumping in, so, with all these things, I do say that they're meant to be like a jumping in point, you know, a jumping off point, uh, sparks of inspiration to kind of maybe clarify things or give you an idea or, you know, show you things in a new light or just get the wheels turning, you know, get the wheels turning. Um, so you think of things in a different way, different uh, from a different perspective, maybe you're just a new idea, a monkey wrench into whatever it is you're working on, wondering about um, to just get the wheels turning. To get you to wonder, question, think uh, about 
things in a different way or in a different context, all that. So this is like the astrological wheel. I think of divine timing also a lot of times with this come, when this comes up with divine timing, like just something you couldn't have planned, you know, couldn't have worked out better or you couldn't have planned to run into that person. You couldn't, you know what I mean? Like sort of like fate type things. Um, divine intervention sometimes also, um, or just time. Again, tonight, tonight, timing. Um, that's another reason I put that in there. Um, jumping into the world, jumping into where do you want to start with something, you know, where do you want to jump in? What's your, what's your jumping off point? Um, and I'll put one more card from this deck and then let me see. Um, this is the hangman. <laughs> Um, number 12. So there's so many meanings with this. Sometimes I think of it as yoga and stretching and like nirvana and like reaching enlightenment. I also realized one time it can mean, <laughs> this is after I was like driving without um, my headlights on and <laughs> uh, this came up as headlight. <laughs> there's so, I mean, it's just so interesting how the different imagery and things that uh, come out of these just I mean, there's so many layers and depth of meaning to each and every... I just looked at the clock and 11.26, it's my birthday. <laughs> um, so much layered meaning. Um, but this can be just taking a time out, a break, a rest to sort of gain perspective. Sometimes it can mean um, understand. I understand something or someone understands you. Just You understand the situation, you understand what's going on. Um, 12 reducing out of 3, so again in that video there is a number 3 on someone's, the back of someone's jersey. It's just so interesting, all these little details and things that, I mean I had nothing to do with, like it's just amazing that I picked them for certain things. So maybe like, um, because I picked all these videos based on like certain criteria, both the symbolism and also the different code words that I've explained in some of the videos, especially that two hour long video. <laughs> um, you know, uh, and you can go back and watch that if you Want. I mean, it's it's interesting um, just to then be able to pick those things out of all the videos. But like, I gave myself myself parameters to work with and criteria. So both you know the tarot, different like historical timing events, and then also my own code words. And so, based on that, I found videos that sort of fit that. But everything else, I feel like, is up for grabs in a way. Like it's um, those are the things that like, come through and different connections, and that those are the things that I couldn't have planned. You know, I couldn't have maneuvered, I couldn't have, um, I wouldn't, I, you know, especially when you think about a song, lyric, or whatever, you just, I don't remember most of the song lyrics that I heard, you know, from a song years ago, like I just maybe think of the title or something, and then I put that in a playlist, and it's amazing how it, like, reconfirms what I just talked about, or, um, or, yeah, uh, reconfirms things, or sometimes it's, like, one time I was talking about like an earthquake and I put, for a di totally different reason, put Kanye West's Mercy in the playlist below and expanded details. And um, in that song lyric, it's something about an earthquake. And then there was um, an earthquake, I think in the Philippines. Um, yeah, so it's like all these things come through. And so I feel like there's some mesh mixture of like, all these different signs and clues that are meant to apply to a large group of people, different various like time periods, all of it, um, different timing, different questions, different all, you know, whatever it is you're wondering about, um, to find different connections to light up new, uh, new pathways, new bridges for you to make you think, you know, um, sometimes I just, you know, get a video and, or, you know, anything, something comes to mind and, um, like I said, to explore that more so and, um, see what you can do with it, like the most random thing and just see what, I mean, I feel like people don't experiment enough, you know, we're so, like, set on things being so perfect and making sure that everything is this and that and that, but that leaves no room for, like, you know, we should experiment more, we should be okay with, like, just not having things perfect, we sh that allows for innovation, that allows for free thinking, free thought, new ideas to come to you, to influence you, um, new connections, um, 
which can only lead to more and more, you know what I mean? So just don't be afraid to experiment, don't be afraid to explore the unfamiliar, don't be, um, don't dismiss things that pop into your head or that you come across or, you know, uh, see what, see where they can take you. But again, this is like the hangman. So it's another reason I put that, like, um, it's in, uh, Kendrick Lamar's DNA. That's, uh, number nine in the swords playlist. Uh, I picked it because level number nine, he says in the lyrics and, you know, I've often said like levels, um, levels of like psychic levels that, uh, mental thought levels of, you know, levels within the video game. That's pretty much the reason I picked it, but like, and it also has some other things like DNA and like that relate to the code words that I've just mentioned. But, um, he also says stretching to Nirvana. Um, so I thought of this too. Makes me think of, um, Marcy's Playground, uh, Sex and Candy, um, for some reason. Um, yeah, so it can be like a timeout, you know, very literally, uh, taking a break, taking some time off to think about things. Uh, sometimes I think of it just lying in bed and like listening to music. So 12, 3, love, um, maybe wondering about something having to do related to related to travel, love, um, work. <laughs> it's pretty general, so. Um, but I basically, it's like some sort of, I think, especially with the judgment, the wheel of fortune, and, uh, and this, like, enlightenment, some kind of enlightenment, some kind of aha, epiphany. Now it makes sense. I get it now. Coming to the picture, coming into the picture for you, maybe towards the end of the week. Um, maybe within work, especially like within the details, looking, making sure that you go through all the details, um, of things and here too, like check out the detail, expanded, expand the details below <laughs> these videos and, um, look at the songs that I put and see how they can bring further clarity, further signs, clues, information, inspiration to you. Um, and also how they support the story that I've kind of talked about throughout the, the reading, the messages, the different symbolisms imagery it's I mean especially if you like if you're someone who likes details like maybe <laughs> you're a Virgo very detail oriented kind of person analytical um, that would be fun for you maybe <laughs> so um, and maybe lead you somewhere brand new golden opportunity golden ticket you know um, yeah so did I say I was gonna that was it right Oh, this is Temperance. This is the Temperance card. For those that don't know, I know that some people are completely well-versed in all of this, but some are new, and so, um, especially if you're a very visual person, I feel like it's um, helpful to see the base meanings, base imagery, and everyone can be on the same page. Um, it's a little Sagittarius. Uh, yeah, again, Sagittarius. Um, again, enlightenment. That's like the sun... Sign I think of two, um, maybe Sun and Sagittarius, the the triangle, triangle in space, the fire, square being space, um, dipping your toe in something, mystical, magical waters. I think of this place in um, in Turkey called um, Pamukkale, and it's like it's gorgeous if you. If you were wanting to travel somewhere really cool, um, it's all these salts, uh, white salt basin, like natural formations over a cliff. And they have all these like aqua waters in there, almost like clear. They look magical. I mean, it's, they're like uh, nat nature made infinity pools um, overlooking just beautiful scenery, um, kind of like uh, swimming in the clouds. Now it's a little bit more touristy and they kind of only have certain areas that you can go and like wade in. When I used to go as a kid, it was like an old sleepy fisherman's town, like no one was there and just hang out all day. My family and I um, I used to travel around the Middle East with my family because my, my dad's an archaeologist. Um, actually, uh, that is, that's a really cool area because then right next to it um, is the ruins of Cleopatra's... Uh, I think it's Cleopatra, one of a temple for Cleopatra um, that had, you know, destroyed and they made it into a pool, like kind of like a family like type you could go and 
swim over and swim over all these like columns and it's a uh, fizzy water mineral water it's really and it's like warm you just kind of hang out on these like ancient columns and in, in the water and it's just beautiful and really really cool um so yeah pomicule um which I was watching something that it takes me somewhere else. So again, associations. I was watching something on History Channel about where uh, Eden was, and um, they a lot of people think that it was in, um, or at least they're excavating it. Um, it was in ancient Mesopotamia, which is modern day Turkey, um, and at the something Tempe. Um, I'm blank on names right now, but like. Which is just interesting because I had I watched that it was right after I'd done a reading and I was talking about Serinche Serinche I think that's how you pronounce it Izmir Serinche in Turkey which is a little slice of heaven <laughs> I literally just said that and I'm just like that's so funny I mean it's not the same place um, but Turkey maybe being a you know um, where <laughs> people think that maybe everything started it was just interesting I never really knew that but actually kind of like it's just been a theme that's going on throughout these readings and of course with the whole Odyssey playlist and creation and all that and um, I just I just think it's interesting I didn't know that that's where people were thinking that it was and um, amongst other places too but um, I don't know that for some reason that just seems very uh, seems like it would be it seems right to me. I don't know. Um, and it just kind of ties in with this whole, like, everything that we've been talking about here and this whole playlist and project, this whole, like, storyline. Um, it's like a story within a story. And it's just this whole thing and how it relates also to my life. It's, you know, it makes more sense that way. Um, and uh, that's actually where, in Turkey, um, that my, I've mentioned this in a few other videos, my parents were in a car crash when my mom was pregnant with me, went over a cliff, and that's also why it relates to number 12 here. Um, in that video, Coldplay's, um, Coldplay's video, they're in a car crash, go over the, they go over the cliff. Um, it's kind of almost what happened to my parents, and so, um, really, again, I'm not, like, not supposed to be here. <laughs> um, I, Maybe this is way too much information, but like it helps prove my point. So, um, my mom was actually like on birth control. Like there was no reason like she should have had me. Um, and then they were in a car crash. <laughs> and then it was like in the eighties and like traveling around the Middle East with like you know not such great conditions, um, being pregnant in the heat and all these things. She was like, I am really surprised you were. Um, and they wanted to give her an abortion, all of it, and that's where she found out that she was pregnant with me. So, again, that kind of ties in this whole theme: um, Turkey, Middle East, ancient, uh, ancient cities, ancient um, creation myths, um, all of that. So, it's interesting. I don't know. Uh, again, just exploring your own history, exploring the depths of things, really diving into something. Um, and uh, yeah, a mixture. This can also mean pregnancy, but like basically just um, balance, um, sometimes enlightenment, mixture, the balance of two things, keeping the flow going, I think of um, grace, art, harmony, all these like little things. It's number 14, number 12, 14, um, reduced down to a five. So again, some kind of change. It is, you know, when you're mixing opposites, change um, from two separate things into a third. So, um, maybe like a, the other deck doesn't have this, the crown in the sun, so I haven't really seen that before, I don't know. Um, her her wings just really stand out to me, just really lush and like, if I make a really cool skirt or something, just um, all these like kind of choppy different layers of um, 
<laughs> feathers or some sort of makeshift like you know faux feathers or something um just different layers choppiness like make a really cool like dress almost like flapper like <laughs> um fringe in a way like a different type of fringe but like thicker and more dense and interesting um so again with all these like is anyone in probably any designer would know like all it takes is looking at like a cut of a sleeve or some a piece of art or some small little things just set you off and put you in a whole direction that will influence an entire collection so again that's the point of a lot of these videos with all the imagery and visuals and colors and lyrics and set design and scenery and all of it so i hope that they uh you know bring you somewhere new as well um and inspire you so let's see what was i gonna let me pull some from the top oops lost it <laughs> by the way i this matters to some people i've completely lost the um five um, five swords I've completely lost the um, Eon and the Devil card in this deck, so in case those are like your favorite cards and you're wondering why they've never come out, that's because I've lost them. <laughs> but I just figured that a lot of cards have different like overlaps um, and meanings and uh, stand in, especially like the mixture of like two cards can be the same as for like one card I found out. So like I just figured if there's something to come in, like there's gonna. This is. Uh, Death card, Scorpio, maybe, um, 13. So again, whenever I take, like, especially at the Major Arcana, this is a Major Arcana 13, you can always reference those uh, playlists and know what that means and uh, act accordingly or, like, you know, be informed accordingly. 13, um, this talks about Osiris, too, and I always feel like he's, like, like a loom or something, which also reminds me of Turkey, like a loom, weaving, um, weaving stories, weaving things together, making sense of them, um, cutting through something maybe, you know, Scorpio, Scorpions at the bottom there. I just thought of the movie Hook from like forever ago. Actually, I've never seen it all the way through because like in the very beginning, they put a guy in a trunk with like a bunch of scorpions and I just like made me cry and made me so upset I've never seen the movie since. Um, I also kind of think of like all these different like circles back here that kind of look like uh, spiral galaxies, like a bunch of them. Um, maybe you know Scorpio or Scorpio is important to you. Um, this talks about transformation, like rebirth, like can mean death, but like more of a metaphoric death. Um, and just change, you know, from one state to another. Um, again, kind of enlightenment also in a way. Um, things coming back to life. Or Scorpio, you know, whatever Scorpio means to you. Maybe the eighth house or the fourth house. Um, this is the moon. Um, Pisces. Again, I think of like wavelengths or like Georgia O'Keeffe from down here. Um, just those muted tones and like southwest and it really looks like <laughs> something that she drew or painted. Um, the, the skull painting. Um, again, this is Isis and Osiris, I think. It's representative of. So maybe that's really important. Um, you know, they were said to have started, like, Egypt, basically, or came from, um, was it Orion, um, or Sirius and Orion, um, maybe constellations are interesting for you to look into. Um, I think it's cool to, like, come up with new silhouettes. You could do it based on, like, in, in the, I haven't done this before, but I just thought of it right now. <laughs> constellations and kind of, like, connect the dots, and by doing that, coming up with, um, new uh, pattern pieces and um, silhouettes and working with that and different shapes and uh, having the entire collection based on constellations and uh, different shapes and things like that. It could be the um, Orion 
dress or something, you know. Um, maybe just going back to the very beginning, again, with the um, number 12, um, going back to the start, starting over, uh, rebirth. Um, because, yeah, then 13 is has a bunch of different meanings, as I've talked about, but um, I kind of think of it as since coming from the 12, you know, going back to the start, starting over, the battle of good and evil kind of thing. Um, whatever makes sense to you. Um, but uh, the moon, I guess, the moon has been coming up a lot recently. Maybe it's just playing an important role. I think the moon is in Taurus tonight. Um, and that's actually my moon sign. Um, I don't know what, you know, it's, I don't know a ton about it, so I probably shouldn't talk too much about it. It's just like, it's earth and water. Um, so, and Taurus is a fixed sign, so it's like being influenced by your emotions, your earthly reality, like, um, going back to the start, the very beginning, um, the moon, um, uh, I did say where you come from, maybe you come from Egypt or, um, you know, you're inter interested in ancient civilizations or that would inspire you, that would, you know, uh, pottery, I want to say, archaeology, that kind of thing. Um, Digging deeper, diving deeper. Hmm. So the moon can like illuminate or can deceive, you know. So, um, what's well, interesting? The sun's in Gemini and the moon's in Taurus, and that's a progression. Um, they're right next to each other. Maybe you need to be more forthright or clear with what it is you want or. Also talk about romance and Scorpio. Sometimes I think of romance with Scorpio, just very it feels a lot, you know. Um, maybe your oh, maybe your moon's in Scorpio, so it's the same duck. Um, yeah. Um, or eighteen, introduced down to a nine, so the end of a cycle or something. I mean, the moon basically talks about cycles and. Um, uh, just the cyclical nature of things, recognizing cycles so that within your own life, within history, within patterns of things, so that, you know, once you recognize those things, you can, I mean, it's true, history repeats itself, so, um, but just in a different context. So once you recognize those things, you can make better, more informed decisions, choices, um, have a little peek into what's coming. You know, it's funny with these readings, like, so much of what I talk about in the cards are that then summed up in, like, the oracle cards um, in the books. And, or if I flip to a page in the book, it's like, sums something up exactly. And even the songs then that I find much later on work perfectly with the reading. It's almost like, like, reversed or something. Like, cyclical nature of time, I want to say. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. Um, both things happening at one time. Um, I don't know. Maybe just looking into your moon sign. Maybe that's important to you or whoever you're interested in, like whatever. Yeah, maybe the moon signs, it talks you know, about your emotions and your intuition and um, using your intuition, using your psychic gifts. Uh, the push and pull of things, the um, moonlight. Um, there's song, Moon Dog. I don't know. Um, this is the five, five of Wands. Um, this wand's come out, the star. Here I feel like she's just like recycle. It's her job to like recycle the stars, and she's just like out with the old, in with the new. Like, 
the spiral galaxy, the spiral nature of all things. Um, again, with the cycles, like I usually kind of, maybe I can draw it. Um, if I can find, I like can just do it here. Um, like the cyclical nature of things that like form a tunnel, you know, like that. Um, and so, yeah, there is some overlap and you do, that's why I'm always like so obsessed with coming full circle with things, um, pulling from the past, but to push you forward, um, or like two steps forward, one step back or like, you know, um, so there is some like overlap. There is some, um, similarities, uh, this overlapping here with that, you know, um, I don't know if this is making sense to anyone, but so that there are repeats, but change at the same time, um, so it's kind of again multiplicity and um mirroring things and just recognizing cycle recognizing um recognizing yeah the spiral nature of all things spiral galaxy um time time loops um sometimes it starts to feel like time was made for you <laughs> you just because everything works out that way. I don't know. Um, like, you're just kind of, I don't know. It's bizarre. <laughs> My life is so bizarre. I don't know. Maybe it's the same for you. Um, five of Wands. Also, Leo. Or, um, this talks about, uh, you know, usually there's like a crossing. Hmm, I wish I could show you the real the different imagery. Um, like, I could talk about a game. Um, constructing something, trying to find like a clear way through, trying to clear something up, uh, any confusion, trying to build something, um, trying to make sense of something. Uh, I always think of it, if I can find the card, here's the other moon symbolism. So that's why I think of like going back to the start and going on a journey and the eclipses and things like that. Um, meeting halfway, um, yeah, so, hmm, there's, there's your Virgo, um, card, it's like the slowest night in the deck, it takes its time, you know, but it gets there and, like, does things right, so it could also be Taurus, too, since we mentioned that, um, maybe five of wands will come up, um, let me talk more about it. five of wands, um, a game, some kind of um, competition too. Um, here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's why I always, that's why I have the uh, um, Fifth Harmony there in uh, the Fire playlist. Because can talk about building, construction, um, you know, just making sense of things. Sometimes I feel like this guy is directing things telling people how to put it all together, crisscrossing, and then I also think of crisscrossing dimensions, and I gave that sort of, um, maybe I'll put the link for that video. Um, I talked about a mall and how it had all these like ramps and like weird, like sort of very confusing mall to get around in. Um, and that I think of that as like crisscrossing dimensions. Sometimes we cross paths with people that are on a different dimension. We just aren't aware of it. Um, different timelines, crisscrossing, um, I feel like they're make, trying to make a star or something, do, 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 you know, um, a star popped out earlier, but again, change, like changing something up so that you can find, uh, clarity, uh, or just make something more clear, sometimes, you know, think of, like, reading the instruction, um, or a game, maybe like a field, like a game, like park uh, sometimes. Um, if anything, like, you know, stands out to you with what I'm saying, different context, but like, yeah. So, um, if, you know, also fifth house, like, can also talk about work, fifth house, fun, romance, um, play, um, um, anything like that. So I just think that, that Fifth Harmony song is pretty funny to put there. Um, working from home, which I do. So 
that's how it works out for me, but you know, it can mean other things for other people. Maybe just constructing something, building something up, building up your um, your intuition, your psychic gifts, your levels, you know, um, building up uh, your, maybe building a home quite literally, building something um, from the ground up, putting something together. I just thought of Ikea. <laughs> um, Maybe pattern too. It's funny, they're all in like solid colors, and there's this one guy in the front with pattern. So maybe standing out from the crowd. Um, I think it's the Four of Wands, in case you haven't seen it. Um, so again, a foundation point, beginnings. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, hmm, let's see. <laughs> Um, let's pull from another, um, another deck. Usually I feel like if, like, the same cards pop out, it's, like, meant to be. <laughs> um, great, the tower's on the bottom. Again, epiphany, enlightenment, some sort of inspiration, um, maybe. Um, I, like, remember to sit up straight, but then my eyes get cut off, so. <laughs> I was trying to find a good angle, it's never working uh, for me. Okay. Um, Page of Swords. Some important cards. Um, but very, some pushes in and maybe tell something, say something. Uh, information. Clarity. Bringing clarity to a situation, maybe. Um, understanding. What else? What else needs to be known? What wants to be known? Oh. I have a pentacles. Um, so again, another change. I think five, three fives have popped out. So a lot of change. Um, and seven of cups. So picking something, picking one option, picking what's right for you. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the options. Maybe um, you could be picking between, you know, love partners. Like if you have multiple options. Um, just being like on, like watching something in front of the, in front of you, like on your screen. Um, uh, head in the clouds, walking past something, maybe missing something. Like, don't miss an opportunity. Don't have your head in the clouds. Like, um, six of wands. Six of wands. I thought that was interesting um, because it is like I think I mentioned in the last video. Um, queen uh we are the champions and um the lyrics say no time for losers and it's actually like it's the videos in a concert hall which i just thought was you know trying to put this up right before um a tragic in incident you know with ariana grande concert and then trump saying something like no losers or i don't know um they're losers. It's just like weird how things are following these timelines. You need to pay attention. Um, it is always like, but it is broad. I know that. So just see how things apply to you. Um, if there's anything else. Well, hangman again. So I guess that's important. Um, again, you can see that his, uh, position in that video too so um so whatever uh, associations you make with this but again just finding i feel like finding a new perspective finding understanding um moving towards moving in a direction that brings understanding that brings epiphanies brings enlightenment maybe going somewhere just thought of like a library going to a library like just spending time looking through art books looking through design books like getting inspiration you know, I do, my hair is like that. Um, again, with creation, reducing down to three. So the chariot here, again, um, that was big in the last reading. So chariot movement forward. Um, wild horses, reining them in, making them go in one direction. Seven, spiritual number, on the road to truth, on the road to finding something out. Ace of Wands, clarity, um, or epiphany, understanding, um, clarity.
clearing something up with the five of wands, making everything, making things, you know, a structure straight, putting those wands up, right? Making something uh, real, sturdy, um, clear, no confusion, um, understood. The Knight of Pentacles again. So maybe that is, again, maybe Virgo or any other earth sign, but I usually assign, you know, mutable signs to the knights because they're usually in transit movement. Um, uh, and Virgo is a um, mutable sign. So all the knights apply to the mutable signs um, or just someone with a lot of earthy energy. His leg looks extremely like short here. I don't know, that's weird. Um, not proportionate. Um, maybe you're just feeling like you got the short end of the stick with the, the wands, you know, um, or the not, you know, but um, I just want to say decoration, interior design. I love interior design. Um, it's going to be Capricorn, the devil. Um, 15, we did get three fives, so um, let me reduce it down to six, so that is, uh, again, balance, usually love, nurturing, energy, six, um, maybe some sort of temptation, maybe someone finds you very, very tempting, very, uh, very um, sexy, very alluring, um, I had originally put the nowness um, ballet number um, by Indigo Black She um, in uh, the six lovers position because it does very much look like the lovers card. Um, how at the very beginning, especially, and there's a little bit of a separation gap between them, and she's looking kind of enticing him, and um, but just just to show that. The lovers, you know, six and fifteen, they're they're uh, kind of like opposites of each other, and just how that could also lovers also be a temptation. So that's why I moved it into the double position because it talks about vices, anything that has to do with vices. Maybe making sure that like any temptations that come your way, you know, can be like be tempted to go out, tempted, you know, what I mean, it doesn't have to be that serious, like, but um, maybe. So we have two knights here. Maybe these two people, you know, they're either going in the same direction or going towards each other or away. But um, yeah, so um, maybe this person or that person finds you very attractive. And uh, maybe you just want them. I mean, maybe I'll do a uh, pull a. Monera, <laughs> these cards are so, oh, you wouldn't believe it. This was um, a card that was, I had taken them out of the box right before. There's one card left over, and it is 12. <laughs> Hang on, and other ducks. This is something else. Um, so maybe if you feel like someone's been punishing you for something, or Maybe you feel guilty, or again with the devil card temptation. Um, maybe not doing things to feel guilty about, or I don't know. Um, I'm going to pull an actual card because I think of the first woman, first earth being born, um, but it's a woman here, so um, coming alive, with the flowers coming off of her dress. Again, it's the Ace of Pentacles uh, equivalent, so golden opportunity. Um, you need to say whatever it is you want to say to um, communicate something with the page that popped out earlier. Um, maybe I uh, just need to say you're sorry or something. Um, maybe there just needs to be an understanding. You know, you can't really like judge someone without all the facts. You can't really um, judge a situation without all the facts. If you do, then you're just being judgmental and um, a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, 
make sure that you have all the information before making any, any decisions um, or judgment or passing judgment on people, you know, because we all make mistakes. We all, um, we all do things that not necessarily are even mistakes, but could be, you know, rub someone else the wrong way or whatever. So we should be judged that way by someone else. So let's just stay open-minded and understanding, um, making sure that you have all the facts before you go about something, um, before you write someone off, you know, before, um, so there's no miscommunication, no misunderstandings, like I said. Um, I just thought of this one quote that it's so rare, every person we come in contact with, every human interaction is rare and should be um, appreciated and, um, uh, you know, just appreciating people. Um, so everyone's worthwhile, you know. This, again, Night of Earth. <laughs> so three times Virgo, Night of Earth. Um, breaking through, breakthrough. Um, breaking through some sort of confinement or gate feeling like, or just maybe going for a horseback, <laughs> horseback riding this weekend or something, getting into nature, um, taking your time, enjoying your surroundings. Um, again, I don't know how this is supposed to relate at all to anything romantic or anything, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, Maybe, again, Virgo is just, I guess, really important. Um, that out. Earth energy, you're just being grounded, getting out into, you know, even feeling distracted, tempted, guilty, whatever it is. Um, just, you know, taking a break, taking a time out, like the hangman, getting out into nature, just feeling grounded, reconnecting to simple pleasures in life, I think of. Um, you know, just turning off the phone, just sort of being there, present in the moment. Um, oh god, okay, well that just fell out and I don't really want to like move everything around so maybe I'll put the card below that fell out. Um, <laughs> I don't know, what do people, relationship, romantic advice or anything like that, what they want to be known? Maybe you're wondering, like, about someone, if you should make a move. Um, <laughs> yeah, make a move with a chariot uh, card that popped out a couple times um, and in the last reading weekly. Maybe you're wondering if you should make a move on something or someone. Um, yeah, it's a two of air, uh, moon, and Libra. <laughs> Maybe you're wondering if you should, like, make a move, uh, decision, choice, uh, taking off the blindfold, I don't know how this card, what is going on with that. Um, why she has little Oscars, I, I just really don't know, but. Because <laughs> it could be any, you know, it could, be, could have been anything else, but why does it look like an Oscar? It's like, maybe you're getting an award or something. Um, maybe you see someone as larger than life or a mountain, like some something that's larger than life, and you're wondering, should you go for it? Should you go through a, should you go through with it? Should you, um, which, which is the right way? Um, where do two things mix? Where do you find that middle ground? Can you find that clear way through um, and just make a choice, move forward with something? Because um, even not making a choice is making a choice to not do something, you know what I mean? Um, so being conscious aware, what is it that you really want? Maybe you want, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's maybe, again, maybe you just feel like something is insurmountable, like it's bigger than you could imagine. Um, maybe it's bigger than you could imagine, whatever it is you're wondering. Maybe it's more than you ever, better than you ever imagined. Um, just, looks like a wave, like there's... Yeah, so... The two of air is about a decision, uh, coming to a crossroads, maybe um, running into someone at a crossroads, or, you know, um, meeting someone there. Um, two words, two thoughts, two ideas, two letters. Um, you 
usually think of two minutes. Um, two days. Sometimes swords are days for me. Um, so two days. I don't know. Clarity on the two of air. You'll pull some romance angel cards because they are fun too. <laughs> Um, here again is judgment. So 20 again, partnership, maybe just finding again, getting onto nature, having some sort of epiphany, wake up call there, um, understanding, just feeling relaxed in your environment, um, reconnecting to what it is you want, what, you know, it is that you, where you see yourself going just by taking time out a break, uh, going where it's quiet, where you can think, where you can hear yourself think, turning off your phone, you know, like, unless you're <laughs> you need a notification or like an alarm clock or something, because that's sometimes what it means, but like, um, all the doves of peace, she's just like, that are coming out of her, wow, well, I don't know, I have no idea, you know, flying, flying, um, flying high, <laughs> I don't know. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six doves, so again, six, um, Pluto maybe, or just being, um, making a judgment call, you know, um, after you've thought it through, after you've gotten a second opinion, after you've reconnected to whatever it is that you, you know, just what really feels right to you, like, again, everything is just like, I feel like you should just could go for it. like as long as it's like not hurting anyone else, as long as it's like not um, too impulsive. You've like thought it through, like go for it. You learn from every experience. You learn from everything that you do. Um, you don't ever want to wonder like what if you know. He has a two words. What if? Um, you know. I feel like that's worse than making a mistake. You know, that wondering like. You know, so just doing what feels right for you, what you would uh, feel like you're missing out on if you didn't do it, you know. Um, this kind of also wanted to come out. This is the 10 of fire, so feeling overburdened, feeling maybe by a relationship or by a situation. Saturn and Sagittarius. Um, maybe there's some sort of like. Again, Sagittarius, like, he's wearing, like, a wife beater. Like, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of abuse or something. I don't want to say that, but, like, I went 10, reducing down to 1. Like, maybe you're scared to, like, leave a situation, you know? Like, scared to, uh, maybe you're afraid that something bad will happen. I just noticed the stairwell more so, like, the iron, her dress, sparkly. It's kind of cute. Um, yeah, just sort of, like resisting something for good or bad, you know, I don't know. I can feel it out. The stars, Aquarius. Again, feeling like larger than life, like looking down over something. I feel like she's in an amusement park. <laughs> um, kind of reminds you like Coney Island or something like that. Or again, constellations looking down a spiral universe, looking down over something. Um, Gaining, gaining like new perspective on a situation or maybe you're interested in Aquarius or maybe like you know again if you're wondering about partner signs or anything like that um just uh or composite charts I don't know um you can see how the dynamics work between you and someone else just from a broad perspective you know like how things work together um but 17 also reducing down to an eight so Again, that's like reclaiming your power, maybe, you know, over a situation. Um, reclaiming what it is that you want, figuring out what it is you want. We got the Seven of Cups before, so again, picking an option, figuring out what it is you want, maybe in a relationship, or if you want a relationship or not, like, and maybe just like not, I mean, Saturn is pretty serious, like, maybe just not being so serious about it, not taking things so seriously, just being like open-minded to whatever could come in, possibilities, new possibilities, um, New fun, new excitement, new people, um, taking chances, jumping in, again with the wheel of fortune, like taking a risk maybe, um, everything's a risk, you know, so 
maybe not taking things so seriously, just kind of going with the flow and just um, knowing that everything will work out, everything works out for the best. Um, this is the Nine of Water again. <laughs> it's like uh, Jupiter and Pisces. Um, or, yeah, the genie in the bottle. Or <laughs> uh, having, feeling good, feeling satisfied, emotionally satisfied, feeling um, elated, I want to say. Uh, she's standing over a puddle, which you can see this imagery in the Three of Wands, which talks about, you know, Gemini, communication, third house, um, Call Me by Blondie is there. And she's actually in the very, like, first few scenes, she's standing over a puddle. All these cards, it's really interesting. All these cards, I mean, there's been a few examples um, of the imagery coming through in some of the videos, but like old videos too, like it not being like a, it's just really bizarre. And another thing that's been coming through a lot, and this is a total side note, um, but a lot of the videos have these like falling leaves, and that's also a uh, picture on one of these cards. I think it's, I don't remember which one it is now, but um, just like kind of, I, and I said it was kind of like romantic, like falling leaves, like uh, just the sort of, it's in the Taylor Swift video, it's in the Rihanna video, it's in a bunch. Um, and then this phrase popped in my head, which is, uh, you're really seeing the forest of the trees one night, and then some like, <laughs> some leaves fell, and um, this is right after I did another video talking about, you know, maybe there's cities in the clouds, and I reference Les Miserables, and, and city in the cloud, think of clouds, atmosphere, um, CO2, uh, the leaves, you know, um, maybe I'm having, being called, my attention is being called to that for a reason, something to pay attention to, maybe uh, breathing, um, maybe uh, Again, getting that fresh air, um, climate, I mean, it's a big deal, climate, right now. So, um, I just think it's weird here in Chicago, like, I remember, I sound like an old person, but, like, in middle school, like, walking home in, like, five feet of snow, and it was long winters, it was always freezing, always got snow, and now it's, like, maybe you'll get, like, a dusting of snow, like, once, like, in the winter. That's how much, like climate has been changed over not that long since like I was in middle school you know like maybe we really need to pay attention to that but something with leaves something with falling I actually took all these crazy notes the other night um all these connections were coming through I couldn't even keep up with them um maybe I'll make another video for that because it's getting a little bit long and I don't know if I have enough space but nine it's like what do you wish for this is your wishes coming true feeling satisfied feeling emotionally open and all that um, I always think of somewhere in, in Paris too, um, or Europe, just, uh, or maybe like the Brandenburg Gate or something like that, like the background, background's being important right now, landscapes, uh, atmosphere, where you are, um, yeah, oh, here, this is the card that also looks like number three in the Odyssey playlist, love, Mars and, um, Pisces. So if any of these signs are important to you, this is the Ten of Water. This is like, you're happy, you know, hallelujah, kind of wonderful, happy end to something. Um, what you wish for coming true. It's a tweener, one, you know, starts over the Ace of Cups again. So something coming to completion, spending time with family, outdoors, picnics, 4th of July, you know, all these kinds of things come to mind. Here it's more like, uh, I think of some sort of like lagoon, uh, goddess, like kind of the star things we used to put in our hair in middle school, like um, the Velcro, like sequins and things like that. Um, 1998, like, 99. Um, anyways, or some sort of like volcano, uh, just like I want to say like Montana. Um, Somewhere like there, you know, with the mountains and the lakes and the forests and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this looks exactly like uh, towards the end of the video, number three in the playlist. So yeah, it's just kind of strange how all these like, I don't know, um, not even just in this deck, but a bunch of them 
So, I don't know, whatever it means to you. Um, this reminds me of the four, you know, I don't know what this means. I'm even in Paris. Anyways, um, no pull. Romance, angel card. Let's see. If there's anything to be known for the weekend, romance, love. Two, have heart-to-heart well, -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you just need to talk, see, you know, get together, talk in person, that kind of thing. Um, just lay it all on the table, like just be open, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, kind of see where the other one's coming from, get all the facts, make informed decisions, all that, being honest, Discussing how you feel, I kind of think the two of cups also, like sharing your feelings with someone else. So maybe that needs to happen this weekend. Um take this one. God, calling in your soulmate. <laughs> These are so funny. This kind of looks like the free yourself is on the bottom. Um, like that Virgo card. Just walking through a gate or the horse. So maybe uh, getting out. It's time to take back control of your life. Again, I think I said that, taking your power back. Um, this is a unicorn. <laughs> um, just, again, magical fantasy for yourself. Or take back control. Just maybe be, again, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, being open about your fantasies, being open about what you want, um, being open with each other. Um, let go of any inhibitions, like just Know that it's safe to open up to someone uh, that you care about. Just be free of each other, free yourself from any self-inflicted constraints, maybe. Maybe a relationship, too. I don't know if there's anything else for to be known for. Romance, love, um, dating, anything for people out there, highest and greatest good. Very soon. Literally decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if you're wondering about timings, probably pretty soon. Just making a decision, like being clear about what it is you want. Again, with the Seven of Cups, like making a choice, decision, just knowing what it is that works for you, knowing what is the best choice for you, um, knowing what fulfills you the most, um, makes you feel the most safe and loved and cared for and free and yourself, you know, um, uh, you deserve love, true love, and make effort and engagement, wow, that's a lot of cards, it's safe for you to love, um, so if you're wondering, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You deserve love, you are lovable, point your air in the right direction, know where it is you're aiming, what you want, go for it. Again, we kind of think of Sagittarius with the arrow. Um, uh, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Same sort of position, you know, like taking care of each other, just, you know. Um, engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe some of you are getting engaged, this, you know, soon, very soon. Uh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Maybe just being, not being, um, I don't know, not being like to make the effort, you know, um, not being too jaded, not, you know, having like more of a childlike approach to things, being innocent, uh, something that's cute, Some, maybe someone's cute, make the effort. Um, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, what do you feel guided to take? What steps do you take? <laughs> what steps do you feel guided to take? What would, um, yeah, what requires a little bit of effort but is worth it in the end? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, anyways, um, I hope that was helpful. I was going to pull another one, but it's already getting pretty long. And so, um, yeah, I maybe do a few more random videos this week. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. Check out the links below if you have time and the playlist also. And um, I hope that you have a fun, great, safe, lovely rest of the week. All right, bye.